The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime starts with a boy called Christopher Boone discovering uh, a neighbour's dog dead on her lawn. And um, initially, uh, the police think that he has killed the dog. And he hasn't, and he sets out to try and discover who has killed the dog. Um, and through that, he starts to write this journal and his dad discourages him from doing that and through that process of his dad hiding the journal he starts to find out some more mysterious things about his own family and what happened to his mum. So it starts as a mystery but then it becomes something much more emotional and um, turbulent and Christopher really sets out on this quite terrifying journey from Swindon to London. As, as movement director and uh, co-choreographer of, uh, of this show, it's my job really to train the actors up, first of all, to build them up so they are strong enough, confident enough to, to, um, to achieve the, the, the choreography. And, and that's very intense, it's very physical, very, very demanding but it needs a strong ensemble, you know, they need to be working together. So every day starts with a warm-up of circuits and stretches, press-ups, sit-ups, weights, pilates, all kinds, because people need to be, you know, really, really strong. They need to feel like they're getting better at something every day. And that choreography, it's very much about the state of Christopher's mind. You know, it's about what's happening on the inside of his brain, written large against the, against the walls of the set. So when he's upset, you know, he can be bouncing off those walls. When he's happy and dreaming he's in space, then he is in space. So it's about achieving all of those little flips that his mind goes on.